Hogwarts Legacy recently released the new Dark Hearts trailer for the game, and at the same time the info for pre-orders and all the bundle variations was also revealed. It's safe to say there is some controversy with all of their bunch of different exclusive items are listed and not to mention the price of the special edition, and we're going to go over five different things that have been revealed about the game recently. And we'll start off with the different types of bundles available for the game. The standard edition is $60 or pounds and comes with the standard variation of the game. And currently there is nothing else that you will get for pre-ordering the game. It's simply the game and nothing else. So there's no real incentive to do that right now. The deluxe edition will be around 70 to 80 and includes the game, the Thestral Mount, which I will talk about more in a minute, and the Dark Arts cosmetic set and the Dark Arts Battle Arena. The digital deluxe edition includes the same, but also the Onyx Hippogriff Mount, Dark Arts Garrison Hat, and 72 hours early access, and I do love when a game has early access. Lastly, this collector's edition will include all the previous, plus a life-size flowing ancient magic wand and book base, steel bookcase, and the Kelpie robe, which is in-game content, and that itself has caused controversy, as it's something that many players would like to have, as it looks pretty cool, and it features a lot in the trailers as well. However, it will only be available to those who spend the $300 or pounds on the collector's edition, which is a bit unfortunate. And they've also revealed that none of the stuff in the pre-orders will be available in the game. They're only available for the pre-orders. And that causes a lot of issues because, as we're going to talk about, there are some exclusive things for those different editions. But first, as I mentioned, the collector's edition has caused some controversy with its price tag, and a lot of players are not thinking it's worth the content that you're getting for that money. The three extra items will increase the cost significantly, but apparently most of that money is going towards the magnetic flowing wand. However, most of the people would be a lot more happy with paying the cost if they added a few more items into the game, like an acceptance letter, some patches, a map, and other smaller things that you would like for a collector's edition. They don't have to be really good things, just more bang for your buck for Harry Potter fans, and I think they might add a few more things before the game actually releases. But as I said previously, there are some exclusive items which makes pre-ordering the game and where you pre-order the game more important. Some of these are confirmed as well, and some are just mentioned in a few listings, and the biggest one is probably the Thestral Mount, which appears to be a collector's edition, which is an exclusive. It was mentioned on the official YouTube channel that it was exclusive for pre-orders. You will still be able to ride other mounts, but only on collector's edition will you be able to have the Thestral Mount in-game. There are also two more PlayStation exclusive items, and they are listed on the PlayStation Store, and then they were confirmed by the community manager Chandler Wood. But that wasn't for pre-orders, that was for all PlayStation users so you don't have to pre-order to get these and they were an exclusive potion recipe Felix Felicis is potion and an exclusive quest which we don't know the name of yet I'm not sure it's a very good idea to be excluding players quests in game that are based solely on the console they purchased the game on and it's not like having that exclusive quest is going to drive people to buy a PlayStation just to do that one quest, so it doesn't make too much sense. Lastly, there appears to be some Amazon pre-order exclusives as well, an astronomer hat, and yet another exclusive quest called Haunted Store in Hogsmeade. But because they're just on the pre-orders from Amazon, they're not confirmed yet on any official channels, although things that do appear on official Amazon listings do tend to be true. And I'm sure you guys will have a lot to say about all these exclusive items in the comments and how much you don't want to see them. Next, some PC requirements have been revealed and you will need a Warner Brothers account to link it to your Steam account in order to play as well. The minimum specs are quite high for the game, but you can see all the requirements for the game on screen, including a minimum of a GTX 1070, which is a pretty high requirement, but I'm sure that's going to become the regular for most games going forward. Lastly, some new screenshots. These were from the official website and they show just a few of the Dark Arts monsters that will roam around Hogwarts. You can see the first two images are Dementors, there is a spider, and of course there are quite a few spiders in Harry Potter. Some Inferius, which are reanimated dead bodies, and of course a couple of images of dragons. Hogwarts Legacy releases on the 10th of February 2023, and if you enjoyed the video, I will make some more leading up to the game. Let me know what you think in the comments of these types of news videos going over some of the things you need to know about the game from recent news. Smash a like and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest news and guides for upcoming overworld and RPGs like Hogwarts Legacy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.